So more or less everyone listens to music nowadays and the average person listens to music for 18 hours per week. So is music addiction a real thing? And the short answer is yes, it is a thing, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. But the reason it is in a way classed as an addiction is because the changes that happen in your brain are really similar to the changes that happen when undertaking risk involving activities such as gambling. But as I said, it's a lot better than gambling, obviously. So why is it that we listen to so much music? So in this video, I will talk about the physiological reasons for it, but on a very basic level, there's a few main reasons, and those are to zone out of reality, be in our own world for a little bit, and also it brings us a feeling of contentment and fulfillment when you're listening to music. And to be honest, you don't really realize how much you need music in your life until you don't have it. So for example, if you ever left your house or your flat and realise you've forgotten your headphones and instantly it just bring, brings a bit of annoyance to you and you have to go all the way back to go get them and you can't really leave without them. Isn't that just the most annoying thing in the world? And these feelings we're getting when we're listening to music or the feeling of annoyance when we forget our headphones, what if they're not just feelings and there's a scientific reason as to why we get these feelings? Well, there are actually a few different reasons for this and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So if you're excited to find out the real reasons as to why we're so addicted to music, then stay tuned, if you'll pardon the pun, and let's go. So a study by Martina DeWitt showed that music actually can affect our autonomic nervous system. And this means that it can control things such as increasing or decreasing our heart rate and can also control the levels of cortisol in our body, which is our stress hormone. And the study also showed that it can increase endorphin levels in your body, which can make us feel happier. And if you're interested as to how this works, then just click on the video here. Um, and it can also stimulate parts of the brain that are involved in making us feel emotion and make us feel happy or sad. And the simplest thing it does is it kind of distracts us from stresses in our life such as important meetings or interviews and exams and things like that and therefore will reduce your levels of stress and anxiety. And so for another good example, there's a study by MV Toma that studied the effects of music post stressor. So there's a group of participants and they're all exposed to the same stressor with half given music to listen to afterwards and half that weren't. And what they showed was that those participants who listened to music after the stressor had a more rapid autonomic recovery and therefore quicker relaxation than those who weren't able to listen to music after the stressor. All right, so how does it actually do this? So I'm gonna give you a really quick run through of how this happens. Well, music, like any sound, is only audible because they're little sound waves of different frequencies. And these sound waves enter our ears. They cause vibrations on the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. And these vibrations on the tympanic membrane are conducted through the little bones in the ear all the way through to the inner ear, which is where the cochlea is. And the cochlea is where it, these vibrations get converted to electrical signals. And these electrical signals are then transmitted via neurons to different parts of the brain cortex, which is the part of the brain involved in everything from decision making, your thoughts, your memory, movement, and emotion and personality, among many other things. So for example, the auditory cortex will pick up the tone and the pitch of the music you're listening to, and therefore help decide the melody or harmony of the music. The rhythm of the music you're listening to is picked up by the cerebellum and the motor cortex, which is why you then bob your head to certain songs or tap your foot to others. The signals also go to a part of the brain called the hippocampus, and this is why you can hear a fraction of a song that you might not have heard for years and years and instantly be able to recognise it and sing the lyrics. And it also stimulates your amygdala, which is the emotion centre of the brain. And that's why when you're listening to things like lo-fi music or anything that's just relaxing, you'll feel a sense of calmness in your body. And the opposite, when you're listening to hip hop or drill or anything, then you'll start feeling a sense of like urgency and getting quite sort of excited. And that's because it's affecting your amygdala. 
so that was a really quick run through but you can see there's a lot of areas of your brain that are affected when listening to music okay but how does it actually work so based on all the stuff we just talked about music's able to reduce the levels of cortisol in your body which is your stress hormone which is why you start feeling more relaxed when you're listening to certain calming music and it also dampens the autonomic response and reduces your heart rate causes vasodilation or dilation of the blood vessels and can also cause muscle relaxation and music can therefore also reduce your levels of anxiety and that's through again the reduction of cortisol in your body it can also cause the production of endorphins which help you feel good and that's because they help stimulate the production of dopamine and again if you want some more information on endorphins and dopamine then just click this video here and finally it stimulates the amygdala like we talked about and therefore makes us feel a sense of joy and happiness and going back to sort of the start of the video we said about how music and gambling are quite similar in a way so studies have shown that the amount of dopamine released when listening to music is very similar to that when undertaking gambling and it's because it's involved in things such as your motivation and also in addiction so have you ever listened to a song where it's just given you the chills that's because you've released a lot of dopamine into your brain that causes your muscles to contract and causes your hairs to stand on end and your heart rate to increase and your respiratory rate to rise and our brain actually also releases dopamine in anticipation of the chills or in the anticipation of a drop in the music so a good example is if you're someone who listens to things like EDM or even if you went to that recent Coldplay performance at Wembley and they were playing Night Full of Stars when the music's building up to the drop and you know what's going to happen, you're anticipating it and you start to feel really, really good. That's because there's a lot of dopamine starting to be pumped through your body. And just for a bit more scientific proof for you, when researchers found out that dopamine was released when listening to music, they put a group of participants into different functional MRI scanners, which is a type of scan that looks at very detailed parts of the body, including your brain. And what they found was that during the moments of anticipation building up to a drop, and also the drop itself in the music, a large amount of dopamine was released from different parts of the brain. And so this showed that it was directly responsible for the feelings of joy and the chills you get during like a really good drop uh, during a song. And because dopamine's also related to addiction, the participants wanted to listen to more and more music and that's because they want another sort of surge of this dopamine in their body and so as you can see there's a lot of physiological reasons as to why we're addicted to music but it's not a bad thing at all and there's actually a lot of benefits to listening to music which we've kind of discussed in this video but i can do another one on if you guys would like and i can also do a more in-depth video on sort of how music becomes an addiction or i can focus it on different types of music genres and how they affect your brain differently so whichever you'd like, just let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, drop a subscribe below, drop a like on the video and anything you want to see in future videos, put in the comments. But yeah, that's it from me. So see you in the next one. Peace.